This episode of Techzilla is sponsored by Domain.com. It's time to get to our first question, and this one comes from Bobby, who tweeted, Hey Patrick, I'm going to be moving out of state soon. Anything I should know about transporting my desktop computer? Thanks. I think like to think he met Patrick and Veronica and or Robert, but that's cool. Whatever. Do you always take it personally? Like I don't I think do. it personally. Well, I do. People say why. at Veronica, I don't get upset. Well, because you probably don't see them. Because I don't tell you to use them but on the show. you know I read I all of your tweets? I, do, I made a I deal with Twitter. I get all your tweets. Huh? Didn't you know that? What do you do? I get all your tweets. I, I paid somebody at Twitter. That's weird. That's um, so hopefully, <laughs> hopefully you save the original packaging. That's yeah. something that I do, even though it can be kind of a pain in the butt to find some place to keep the giant box for your right. desktop machine. Um, it is really hands down the best way to transport a PC um, because it's got all that nice foam core in there mm -hmm. that's going to protect it. It fits. It's the yeah. perfect size. So really, I think if, if you have that still, it, it's kind of your best bet. It's probably your only bet. Yeah. No. Actually, look. <laughs> Wait, no. That's not true. <laughs> no, look, it, look. Ideally, look, if you're the kind of person that keeps all the packaging, great. You're going to max out the resale value. We can hold on to it for 20 years. Mm -hmm. But this packaging is designed to keep your computer safe while it's bouncing around in the back right. of the UPS truck. I love my UPS guy. I've seen him drive. You know what I mean? If, if there's a reason they have like tilted shelves and straps back there. Otherwise, my PC would be launching from one side to the other. You can get by without the original PC box. What you do need to do is make sure everything is properly screwed down inside it, the hard drives, the CPU cooler. Um, try to keep it stable and shock free when you're transporting it and check all the connections inside before you fire it up at your new house. The worst thing that can happen is a loose hard drive bouncing around inside the case inside the back of the rental truck while you drive down 100 miles of bad road. You pick up the computer, and, and this the happened. To, just rattles. I, this I did not. This was not me. <laughs> this was an acquaintance of mine. He was like literally like I picked up my computer and it was like a kid's rattle or what are those things called? I was like a maraca. He's like yeah, like a maraca, because the hard drive had literally like scraped half the po components off of the motherboard from bouncing oh, no. around. This is bad, right? Do everything we said, especially connecting the check. The, the biggest thing. Check the connections when you get to your new house. The SATA uh, cables, the power cables, mm -hmm. the CPU cooler. Make sure all the, the, the GPUs wiggled, are in their sockets. Wiggled undone a little bit in transport. That's, that's something that's happened to me before as well. You're like, what's wrong? Why are you not working? <laughs> Why do you not boot? Yeah. Um, a lot of times you'll actually see uh, PC vendors will actually you know, use uh, hot glue on GPUs to hold them in place during transport. It's kind of a belt and suspenders thing. Um, yeah, I don't know if I would do that, but it's yeah, an option. Okay, it's an option. Um, okay. In terms of actually moving it, I've done everything from wrapping a blanket around the case uh, and strapping it to the wall of the Penske truck to strapping a PC down with a seatbelt in the passenger seat to locking it up inside of a custom foam-filled Pelican case. Every single one survived. Every single one, except the one my friend dropped while climbing down a flight of stairs. Or he was like climbing computer stairs. He slipped. He dropped the computer. <laughs> Spin. It was a beautiful pirouette. Wham, 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 wham. Slam into the wall opposite yeah. on once it got to the right angle part of the stairs. Yeah. Ouch. So, yeah. Uh, so uh, make sure that uh, you back up your drive before you let your friends carry your beloved gaming PC down the stairs. That might yeah. be a good good place to start. Just saying. Just back everything up before you move things. Bam, 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 bam. Or just wow. general. It was the that launch that was the best part. The launch. It nice. was awesome. That makes me sick to think about. <laughs> All right, we've got more of your questions still to come, but first it's time to thank one of our sponsors. If you're setting up a website to start a new business, showcase your portfolio, publish your blog, domain.com is the best place to go for your next great idea. You need a new domain name? Consider registering a .com. It's globally understood and immediately gives credibility to your website no matter what name you choose. We like domain.com because they're affordable, reliable, and easy to use. Plus, domain.com has an active social media presence, so you can fire out a tweet to at domain.com, and they've got great customer support, so it's a good place to do business. We've got an awesome coupon code for you, 20% off Domain.com's already low prices. Use the coupon code TAGZILLA when you check out at Domain.com. That's 20% off, folks. Big time savings. Don't forget, give the TAGZILLA coupon code some love when you buy a domain at Domain.com. When you think domain names, think Domain.com. And notice, that's a .com.